Hello folks. In the last few tutorials we've been looking at colour correcting the tonal range of an image in order to correct its overall brightness and contrast. We also spent some time looking at the waveform monitor in order to help us with our adjustments. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at removing a colour cast from an image whilst using the vector scope in the reference monitor. The image we're going to be using is this shot of a doorway which has deliberately not been white balanced in order that it captures an orange tint or colour cast to it. Our aim is to use the vector scope in order to help us understand on a technical level where the faults in the image lie. And then we're going to use Premiere Pro's fast colour corrector to help us remove the colour cast. I'm going to start out by resetting my workspace for colour correction. And then I'm going to select Vector Scope from the Reference Monitor's drop down menu. Now, in order to understand what the Vector Scope is telling us about the colours of an image, let's place it next to a colour wheel. I'm going to use the colour wheel that's found in the Fast Color Corrector. The first thing that you need to know about the vector scope is that it's not telling us about the brightness of an image. That's what the waveform monitor was for in the last few tutorials. What the vector scope does tell us is where colors lie in an image and what the strength of the colors are. This image that my time marker is currently resting on, for example, has got a predominance of blue in it. We know this because the vector scope is pointing towards blue. However, it's only resting a little bit away from the centre of the scope. The closer to the centre it points, then the more balanced the input of that particular colour is. In this case, blue is there, but it's a fairly balanced amount of blue and it's not oversaturated. If the vector scope pointed towards blue here, to the edge of the scope, we would know that the colour blue had become very oversaturated and would need to be dialed down a bit. Essentially, the more the vector scope points away from the centre, the more oversaturated the image is in that particular colour. The colour wheel is broken up into separate colours very similar to that which we can see in the Fast Colour Corrector's colour wheel here. Our main primary colours, red, green and blue, are shown, as are our secondary colours, magenta, cyan and yellow. Now you're probably wondering exactly what these boxes represent. These boxes represent the safe broadcast limits within which colours should operate. At present, the vector scope is set to the 75% safe broadcast limit, which means that these outer boxes here represent 75% of the total amount that a colour can be saturated in order for it to be permissible for broadcast. If I set the vector scope to 100%, these outer boxes now represent 100%, which is the maximum amount of colour can be saturated. The inner box now represents 75%, which is the safe colour saturation amount for broadcast. I am going to put the setting back to 75%, because I don't see any great reason to go over that. The vector scope is telling us, therefore, that this image here of the doorway is oversaturated towards the orange part of the vector scope, as we can see here. It's come quite a bit away from the centre of the scope and is almost touching the edge. This means that it's gone past the 75% limited safe zone. We're going to use the fast colour corrector to help us remove this orange colour cast. The vector scope is pointing clearly towards orange, so we're going to counteract that by pulling the colour wheel in the opposite direction towards blue. This pulls the vector scope away from the edge 
and leaves it pretty much adjacent with the 75% broadcast safe box here, which we now know is a safer limit to work in. The image has now had its colour cast removed and is now more balanced all round. Okay, that's all for this tutorial folks. Thanks for listening. See you in the next one.